Jingi iya in the heart of the village, cradled by the whispering emerald hills, our story of Timothy takes a new turn, revealing the depths of dreams and the echoes they leave in the waking world. Having journeyed through realms of vivid imagination and stood as a guardian against the creeping shadows, Timothy found himself at the cusp of a new discovery, a dream that would intertwine the lives of his beloved dog, Mel, and the playful squirrels, all within the bounds of his slumbering mind. On a serene night where autumn's breath turned leaves to whispers, Timothy nestled into his bed, the moon's soft glow casting a silver blanket through his window. As sleep's gentle embrace enveloped him, he found himself transported not to distant lands of enchantment, but to the familiar setting of his own backyard, bathed in moonlight and alive with the nocturnal symphony of nature. There, in the heart of the dream, stood Mel, his loyal Belgian Malinois, ears perked and alert, eyes fixed on the playful shadows that danced along the fence line. The shadows belonged to the squirrels, the very creatures that had become the source of Mel's daytime vexations, their presence and unwavering irritation for the gentle giant. Within this dream, Timothy discovered an extraordinary ability, the power to understand the language of animals. It was a revelation, a gift from the realm of dreams, allowing him to bridge the gap between Mel's barks of frustration and the squirrel's carefree chatter. With a heart brimming with resolve, Timothy set out to forge a bond of understanding and friendship between Mel and the squirrels in the realm of dreams. He spoke of unity and companionship, crafting a vision where Mel and the squirrels saw the world through each other's eyes, their playfulness and mutual respect blossoming under the canopy of stars. As the dream wove its tale, the misunderstandings that had fueled their discord melted away, replaced by a harmony that resonated with the tranquility of the night. Mel and the squirrels, once adversaries in the waking world, now shared a moment of peace and joy in the landscape of Timothy's dream. Morning dawned, dispelling the shadows of night, and with it, the dream that had bridged the worlds of dog and squirrel. Timothy awoke to a day washed in sunlight, the memory of the dream lingering like a delicate whisper. He found Mel in the garden, the air filled with his joyful barks, but the squirrels were nowhere to be seen. It was as if the dream had imparted a lesson of peace to Mel alone, leaving the reality of the squirrels untouched by the nocturnal reconciliation. As the day unfolded, Timothy made his way to school, his mind adrift in thoughts of dreams and their mysterious power. It was there, upon the boundary wall of the school ground, that he saw them. The squirrels, lively as ever, darting among the trees, untouched by the events of Timothy's dream. In that moment, Timothy realized the complexity of dreams, their ability to inspire change in some ways while leaving the tapestry of the real world as it was. This realization did not diminish the wonder of Timothy's dreams or the lessons they held. Instead, it taught him about the nuanced relationship between our dreams and reality, how some dreams serve as a canvas for our desires and lessons, while others remain beautiful vignettes of what could be. Timothy's journey as a guardian of dreams, capable of touching the fabric of the animal kingdom in his slumber, underscored the endless possibilities that dreams could offer. They were not just escapes from reality, but bridges to understanding, compassion, and sometimes a glimpse into the harmonious world that lies just beyond our reach. Dream boldly, with open hearts and minds, for even in dreams that cannot change the world, there lies the potential to change ourselves. Sweet dreams, until our next adventure in the realm of imagination.